Segmentation is like the holy grail of email marketing, which will generate you millions of dollars of revenue. But no one tells you how to segment your list, or what kind of segments to use. Today, that's gonna change because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly which segments to use, how to set it up in Klaviyo, and some extra tips and tricks. Let's dive into it. All right, before we delve into the how-tos of segmentation, let's talk about why it's so important, specifically for e-commerce brands. So what exactly is segmentation and why should you care? Well, segmentation is essentially diving your email list into different groups or segments based on a variety of factors like purchase behavior, demographics, engagement levels, and more. But why is this crucial for your e-commerce business? The first reason is personalization and relevance. You see, in the world of e-commerce, your customers are not just faceless email addresses. They're individuals, each with their own needs, preferences, and shopping habits. By segmenting your email list, you're able to send more personalized and relevant content to each group. Instead of blasting your entire list with the same message, you can tailor your emails to resonate with specific groups. This not only helps you connect better with your customers, but it also makes them feel valued. In fact, according to stats, personalized emails deliver six times higher transaction rates, but 70% of brands fail to use them. The second reason is boosting engagement and conversion. Segmented emails are more likely to be opened, clicked on, and even lead to a purchase. This is because the content of the email is more relevant to the recipient, which naturally leads to higher engagement. It's a simple, yet effective strategy to increase both your open rates and your conversion rates. Finally, segmentation aids in customer retention. When you send your customers email that cater to their interests and needs, they are more likely to remain subscribed and engaged with your brand. This can significantly lower your churn rate and increase the lifetime value of your customers. Real quick. So if you're an e-commerce brand and you're doing at least 50K a month of revenue right now, and you want to take your email marketing serious and to the next level, you take customer retention serious and you don't just want to send discount codes all the time. Well, maybe we can help you out. So click on the link underneath this video, book a call with me, and let's see if we can help you generate a lot more revenue out of your email marketing. Now that we've understood the importance of segmentation, let's dive into Klaviyo segmentation basics. So how does Klaviyo segmentation work? Well. Klaviyo collects a vast amount of data from your customers. Every time a customer interacts with your website or your emails, Klaviyo is collecting and storing that information. When you're ready to send an email, Klaviyo allows you to create specific segments using this data. For instance, you could create a segment of customers who have made a purchase in the last 30 days, or a segment of customers who have not opened any of your emails in the last 60 days. You could even create a segment of customers who have viewed a specific product on your website but have not yet made a purchase. The beauty of Klaviyo's segmentation feature is its flexibility and specificity. You can mix and match conditions to create highly targeted segments, ensuring your marketing efforts are as effective as possible. All right, let's move forward and talk about the different types of segments that you can create using Klaviyo. Remember, the goal here is to customize your messages for different groups of customers based on their specific needs and behaviors. So how can you do that with Klaviyo? First off is behavioral segmentation. This allows you to create groups based on user actions. For instance, you can segment users who have recently made a purchase, users who frequently visit your website, or users who have viewed a certain product but didn't make, didn't make a purchase. This is very useful for triggering personalized emails. Next is demographic segmentation. Here you can create segments based on demographic information such as age, gender, or location. This can be particularly useful if you're running a regional promotion or targeting a specific age group or gender. For example, when you're running a fashion store and you're having different collections for different demographic groups. Then we have engagement level segmentation. This refers to creating groups based on how users interact with your emails. You could segment users who always open your emails, those who rarely do, 
or those who have not opened your emails in a while. And finally, there's purchase history segmentation. You can segment users based on their past purchases, the amount spent, or the frequency of their purchases. This is great for targeting customers with products similar to the previous purchases or offering loyalty rewards. So, now that we understand the different types of segments we can create, let's see how we can actually create a segment in Klaviyo. So let me show you how to create a segment in Klaviyo. So what you can do in the left menu, you click on list and segments, and then on this page in the top right corner, you can click on create list slash segment. You click on that and you want to create a list or a segment, we click on segment. And let's create a segment for people who've engaged with your brand, with your emails in the last 30 days. So the name of the segment will be engaged 30 days. Do have to spell it correctly, of course. And in here you can fill in the definitions. So you can, for example, make segments based on what someone has done or not done or properties about someone. These are the most used uh, definitions but you can also do it based on predictive analysis about some which is a really strong one and also on the location, etc. etc. Um, but let's click on what someone has done or not done. Now you can select a metric that you want to use. So for example, bounced email, clicked email, uh, opened email, um, but also other metrics. Let's say you have connected your review system to Klaviyo. Um, and for example, if you scroll down, you could select uh, eligible for just me review request. Just me is a review system, uh, submitted review. So if you want to make segments for people who've left a review of your store, you can send them specific content based on the fact that they're in this segment. But as I said before, we're going to make a segment for people who've engaged with your brand in the last 30 days. So in this case, we want to make sure that opened email at least once in the last 30 days or this person has clicked an email at least once in the last 30 days um, or so we can do what I like to do if we scroll down active on site so someone has been on your website at least once in the last 30 days and then finally I always like to implement is that every segment is person is not suppressed so we only have people inside the segment that we can actually send a message and they are not suppressed so now we click on create segment so this process can take a while but now it's going to build the segment and then you can see the actual people who are in the segment and then you can select the segment when you're sending campaigns or for your flows and now um, yeah you've built a segment inside Klaviyo now I want to show you a few examples of effective segmentation Let's first start off with an example of engagement level segmentation. So a good segment you can use is engage 30, 60, 90, 120 or 200 days. So in this case, we want a segment based on how long it has been since people have engaged with your brand. So for example, what you can see in here is that this person or with this segment, you're talking to people who've opened an email at least once in the last 120 days or clicked an email at least once in the 120 days. This is a segment a lot of brands are using. I like to add a few more data points to it. For example, or placed order at least once in the last 120 days or checkout started or added to cart or viewed product or active on site. So as you can see, I not only uh, determine the fact if people are engaged or not based on their email activity, but also on their website activity because it could be that someone isn't opening your emails but they are active at your store. So in my opinion, they're still engaged with your brand. So that's why I like to include that in, inside our engaged segments. And what I always do is person is not suppressed for email. So we only have people in this segment who actually are, are able to receive your emails. Next up is behavioral segmentation. So one segment I would like to use or multiple basically is um, by separating it based on the amount of times people have purchased. So for first time buyers, uh, two time buyers, three times and more buyers, we make different kinds of segments. So for example, in this case, if you want to make a segment for people who, uh, who have purchased at least three times, we're using these kind of uh, elements. For example, placed order is at least three times overall time and person is not suppressed for email. You can also make a non-buyer segment 
this is really good if you want to nurture them and make sure they're going to do the first purchase. So what you can use in that case is placed order zero times over all time and person is not suppressed for email. One of my favorites is the abandoned cart and checkout didn't purchase in the last 90 days segment. It's a really strong segment because with the segment you can see which kind of people have added a product to the cart or even started a checkout in the last 90 days but didn't purchase. So this is a really strong segment that you can send specific kind of emails to. In this case, uh, what you're going to do is we say checkout started at least once in the last 90 days or added to cart at least once in the last 90 days and place order zero times in the last 90 days and person is not suppressed. Another one is the window shopper segment, a really strong one, which uh, has some similarities to the abandoned cart at checkout, but this is basically one step before. These are window shoppers. They haven't added a product to their card, but they have viewed a product on your site or they've been on your site or they've clicked on the emails, on the links in your emails. So what we say is, viewed product at least two times in the last 30 days or have been active on the site at least two times in the last 30 days or clicked on one of your emails at least two times in the last 30 days and placed order zero times over all time and person is not suppressed for email so these are your window shoppers and the last thing are your vips a really important segment to use because you want to be really careful with this audience because these people, for example, have placed an order at least four times over all time, as it could depend on the type of business that you're running, or the revenue is at least four times the AOV over all time. So let's say your AOV, your average order value is $50. We multiply that by four. So in this case, in this example, it will be 200. So basically you wanna make sure you have like the top 10 or top 20 um yeah of the of the people who have purchased at your store and these are like your vips that you want to nurture in a different way for example you can have specific sales events for them and uh, they can have like a pre-launch to new products etc etc so it is a really important segment that you want to include inside your email marketing strategy and then finally you also have a few segments that you want to create to exclude from campaigns First of all is the unengaged segment. So you can make this for unengaged in the last 30, 60, 90, 120, 180 days. So what we are gonna say in this example, we will work with 120 days, opened email zero times in the last 120 days, clicked email zero times, placed order zero times, checkout started zero times, etc., etc. Basically you wanna make sure that these people haven't done anything with your emails or anything on your website in the last 120 days or another time frame if that's more usable for, for your brand. And we do wanna make sure that they have received a few emails from you so they had the possibility to engage with your brand. So in this case, we use received email is at least five in the last 120 days. Because lastly, if they haven't received any emails from you, they couldn't engage with your brand. So um, then it's not fair for them to be in that segment. Two other segments I like to create also for cleaning your list is the marked as spam segment. So what we say is marked email as spam at least once over all time and person is not suppressed. So this is a really good one to exclude from all of your campaigns and to clean your link and to clean your list with along the way uh, because these people have marked one of the emails as spam once. So it's more likely that these emails are landing in the spam box. So you really want to get rid of them. So uh, yeah, your overall email deliverability just gets a boost and your emails are less likely to land in the spam box. The other one is the bounced email segment. So what you say in here is that bounced email at least once over all time where bounce type equals hard or bounced email is at least four of all time where bounce type equals soft. So there's a difference between a hard bounce and a soft bounce, which I won't go into depth for this video, uh, but you wanna make sure that for hard bounces, if it happens once, you wanna get rid of those people as soon as possible with soft bounces. You can have a few soft, boun soft bounces because it can be a specific reason why it's a soft bounce. So uh, people could recover from that. So that's why, uh, yeah, we have a max of four times for that. Uh, but you wanna get rid of the people who've bounced in the past because again, this might hurt your email deliverability. So the same as with Mark Spam, you wanna get rid of those people as soon as possible and at least exclude them from your campaigns. And these are basically the most essential segments that we create for our own clients at our agency. And I definitely recommend you start using those segments for your e-commerce brand as well. And that's it. 
this was the altered Clavio segmentation guide. So if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content on email marketing and how to grow your e-commerce business to the next level. Hope to speak to you soon in the next video.